Hello there people. Welcome to today's video on my channel, Possible Live, which if you're from my other channel, Possible Gamer, link in bio, you know that this is the channel where it's not gaming, not streaming, it's everything, okay? So today, we're gonna go down to business, we're gonna have some serious talks, we're gonna be doing five things I wish I knew when I started streaming. Let's go. First of all, I have been streaming for a few years myself. The link will be in the bio. I stream every other day. But most of all, recently, I have seen profound growth in the past month or two. There's some of these tips I'm about to give you now, which I wish I did a year and a half ago, then it's in the tap man, I would have been coming for you. So I thought I'd share these tips with you guys so you make the same mistake I did and you could overtake me in Twitch. Number one, the first tip or trick that I'm going to give you that I wish I knew or I wish I did, I probably knew it, I'm just too newbie to do it, is be yourself. Be real, be who you are. As you may know, some of, you, some of the OGs in the chat may even remember me streaming CSGO a while ago where I was very conserved, I was, didn't know what I wanted to do, I wanted to stream, I wanted to be a streamer, but I didn't know what that took, so I just played my games, said hello to the people in chat, and was very conserved to myself because I didn't, I didn't want to be outgoing. Uh, yes, I was less confident back then, but still, it meant that a lot of people came in, said hello, and left to go find someone else was more interesting. So the, that's the biggest tip I think I have done in the past half a year is be yourself be who you are be genuine and be enjoy enjoy the stream enjoy you enjoy the stream your viewers will enjoy the stream everybody enjoys the stream apart from clive the hater who does not enjoy the stream the hater's gonna hate okay cannot stress enough if you are yourself you are genuine uh, viewers will love watching you be you not only because you're amazing at a game like apex but because you are you and you are awesome. Yes, you. Sitting on the sofa. Thing number two I wish I did when I started streaming is have a schedule. I know, depending on when I upload this video, some of you guys are going to go, Oh, possible, but you've been streaming every day because of coronavirus lockdown, you've been streaming every day. Well, not anymore. As of just recording this video, I've now got a new schedule. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Yes, I added Friday into the mix because I'm not I'm not working currently and if I don't do content creation or streaming then I'm going to be wasting my time looking at memes on Facebook or Instagram follow me there so the most important thing is to have a schedule because recently I personally I've gone through this from streaming every day I come off a stream feeling run down feeling really demotivated after the stream because I put everything into my stream doing that every day Two weeks straight it killed me it really did kill me so that's why i have to you have to take days off you have to focus on other content which is kind of leading into another point but we'll go into that you have to use days off to revitalize and make the days that you do stream insane but also it's not just for you because if your viewers are coming back every day to watch you you're doing the same thing every day you're gonna get boring. Right, and the last thing you wanna do is bore your viewers, because your viewers will go, hey, didn't you do this yesterday? Yeah, let's go watch Tim the Tap Man. He's cool and new. No, I'm gonna watch Summit, but Possible Gamer's a noob. Yeah, and that's what will happen. That was Clive and Jeremy, my two twin brothers. So a schedule is super important, not just for you, but also for your viewers. And if you stick to it, you let them know when you go live, it could help you a lot. I wish I did it. Sanub, yes? This one, this next tip is up for debate. I'm going to roll a clip now of what my stream used to look like when I first started. Kobe. You notice the quality is trash. I was a cheap ass. I probably 
I didn't have the most amount of money, but I had enough money probably to upgrade sooner than I did. Because I was a cheap ass and thought, you know what? I'm going to stream, make thousands of, thousands of pounds, and it doesn't matter. But recently, I've started to learn it takes money to make money. Or it takes investment to make it anywhere. See, personally, I've just ordered some stuff for the wall here. It's just, it's not going to add anything really to the stream. But it will look better in my eyes and it make me feel like I'm investing into the stream. Because although everyone thinks you can just stick on a webcam and talk, you have to invest in order to make it. Because there's thousands of thousands of streamers out there. If you're not willing to make invest to make you the number one. What are you doing? Don't be a cheap ass like I was. I'm not saying you have to spend hundreds of thousands. You don't have to buy a DSLR camera. The stuff that will put you aside from that streamer who's using xbox game capture in the streaming apex legend and as some of you know when it comes to the end of a stream i've got a few viewers some of you will know as a community we scroll through twitch of whatever game we're playing and we look for quote unquote funky overlays so get yourself an overlay buy yourself an overlay make yourself an overlay get a cool funky overlay and maybe you make it a host wink but not only do I mean the quality of your stream and what the viewers are looking at, I also mean the quality of you. Because it doesn't matter if you have an, a £10,000 PC with £6 million of lighting and microphone and studio and you look like ninjas set up. If you are boring to watch, people won't watch you. You need to think about yourself and you need to think, what can I do? What can I improve about myself? Or what don't I need to do because I'm already insane to bring people and make them watch me instead of that guy over there next is kind of a little tip that's not really going to help you grow but it will help you it will help a lot of heartache it's kind of two tips to combine in one two things combined in one is affiliations and teams as you start out streaming there's a load of affiliations out there there's Razer there's GT Omega, there's loads of affiliations out there in which you think, if I'm an affiliate on Twitch, if I get these, it's going to make me pro streamer. It doesn't. I've spent, I've gone through Razer, I've gone through Humble, I've gone through freaking GT Omega, I've gone through all of the little affiliation links to think, it's going to make me, it's going to make me look like a pro streamer if my viewers can see that I'm partnered, which or not with this brand it doesn't work no one buys them unless you're a huge streamer no one is going to buy gt omega trev your 10 percent code off if they can go to freaking summit 1g i don't know if he does it or not and get 30 percent off but don't do them they're not a scam they also do not help you at all same with small teams in a sense joining a small organization or a small team because they're not paying you but you don't get anything out of it apart from you may get a few followers from the owners Apart from that, you're better off growing on your own, making a group, a community for yourself, maybe with some other streamers, and growing that way. Because unless you're getting paid to advertise for them, or you're getting some insane growth, which most likely you are not, they are not worth it. Focus on yourself, don't focus on your focus on other teams. You need to put all your time into yourself and your content other than the team's content. If that makes sense. Drop a like and a comment down below if you agree. Also, reminded these are only my views. You may not have to agree with them. If you don't, tell me. And finally, the tip I kind of mentioned earlier, because, you know, I did. Content, content, content. Do you want to know what this is? Content. I did not knock that off. It's... I, I realized from long ago that I needed to make content. Did I do it? No, because I thought... You know what if i stream for six hours a day for every day i'll just get loads of followers anyway but it doesn't work it does not work you need to make content on instagram which i've started to do which helps me which has helped my growth a lot twitter tiktok i made some tiktoks they're pretty funky i need to make some more youtube oh wait what's this oh youtube and you're watching it big brain it's all about making original content on lots of different platforms, join them all together, making a freaking spider web, becoming Spider-Man, flying to the rooftop, then being a streamer, YouTuber, TikToker, Instagrammer, Twitterer, that's a word, 
pro. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope all of these tips helped you. I hope you all learned from my mistakes, from what I didn't do that I'm doing now. And I hope you are all growing like a madman. I hope you all overtake me. Except you, Clive. It is gonna hate. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As, as you know, I have another main channel and I have my Twitch that I stream on every other day, if we mentioned. They will all be linked in the bio. I love every single freaking one of you. Peace out. Adios amigos. Stay good.